The local cycling community came together to remember a cyclist killed in a front runner accident and to remind drivers to share the road. 11 News reporter Justin Ashby was along for the silent ride. Douglas Crow was going to retire this fall after 35 years as a BYU janitor, but now his retirement from this life has become a beacon to help prevent cycling car collisions like his in the future. Gears, chains, and brakes were the only sounds you heard last night at the Riot of Silence for Douglas Crow. Police say an SUV pushed the BYU janitor and his bike in front of an oncoming train early in the morning of February 15th, killing him. Zach Whitmore is a fellow bicyclist who organized this silent memorial. We lost a great member of our community. That's the main thing. Um, I mean, we could come out and we could make political statements about this or that or pay attention and get angry, but it's really about Douglas Crow and, and having lost that, that rider and that, and that member of our community. The Provo tour began at the old courthouse on Center Street and University Avenue and ended at the very location where the accident occurred. As the cyclist pulled up to the spot where Crow died, a front-runner train passed by, letting everyone feel the emotional impact of the tragedy. Many of Douglas Crow's family members were there to remember their father and grandfather. I used to go biking with my dad all the time, and we used to do a couple of these big bike rides as well. He would have really enjoyed this. He would have really been impressed. It was wonderful to see the support, and the support of the community is just overwhelming, and I know that he was riding along with them. The family says there was no better closure than seeing so many people come together in remembrance of him. The Utah Department of Health reports that 10 years ago, the state was 15th in the nation for most fatal bicycle accidents. Now, we only average eight deaths each year. Alexis?